Hey YouTube, it's Craig here and I'm back with a new video. In this one, we're gonna be checking out the Aya, which is a new model from Namiki. So let's get right into it. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a rather quick unboxing. This is the new Namiki Aya that I got in the Tokiwa Evergreen. And with a fine medium nib, comes in your rather standard Namiki box. Of course, there is the use and care guide. I did buy this from gouletpens.com. It comes with a cartridge, bottle of ink, and here we do have the pen. Not in the plastic, because I've actually been using this one for a while. And here we have the pen. To get really close with this, you can see that rotten and those green powders sprinkled in different intensities using the Tokodashi method, which is basically just polishing layers of it off so that you get these hills. It's supposed to be like the forest of Japan at night, those abalone sparkles in it, as well as there's gold powders that have been used as well. Really close, and you guys can see. Of course you have the Namiki clip and the number on top. Now this is not a limited number. This is not a limited edition. This is like their new production model that they have. They have a couple different colors. So there's the black one. There's this really beautiful wind pattern on it. There's a red one and a blue one as well. But I like the green the most. I do love Rodin. I just think it's very nice looking. Of course, you have the Kokakai signature. This was made by a group of artists, not just a single artist. As you can see, there's a little bit of ink on the nib. I've, I have been using this for about a month now. You have Mount Fuji and that 18 karat gold nib. This one is a fine medium. It is a plastic feed. It's blue because I am using Pilot Irosuzuku Tsukio in it. And this just has a Con 70 compared to an Emperor size model that would be using an eyedropper. This is the Namiki version essentially of a Pilot Custom Arushi. It has a number 30 size nib just like a Pilot Custom Arushi. I don't have a Pilot Custom Arushi, but I can tell you this is like the fancier sister pen. Here it is in comparison to an Emperor. As you can see, it is almost the same size as the Shinkin Dragon Emperor. If you look at the nib comparison, that number 50 nib compared to the number 30, and look how much larger that nib is. Fairly comparable as far as the grip goes. The barrel might be a just ever so slightly thicker on the Emperor. The size comparison to a Yukari Royale, and again, with it cap. But honestly, very comparable to the Emperor in size. Same clip. It does have the felt inside the cap, so you can post it if you want to, but like, why would you look at the size of this pen when you have it posted? It is very, very big. It's actually not back heavy or anything like that. It's actually very nicely weighted, but why? Why would you need that? It's it's so big. This is perfectly fine. And like I said, I've been using this. I've been taking it to work with me and writing in my little daily journal with it. It's pretty awesome. Now it's time for the writing sample. is Tokyo uh, green and this has an 18 karat gold fine medium and you do get some some line variation out of it. A little bit of railroading there, but it hasn't really had trouble keeping up with the lines. Very nice writer. This is Pilot Hiroshizuku. A pretty wet rider. Here's reverse. Reverse actually doesn't feel that bad. It's uh, not recommended, but reverse does work. It's a beautiful Japanese piece of art.
really a beautiful pen and it's a big pen but it's a very nice addition and actually probably one of my favorites lately to use just because it's it's so comfortable it is big you know, for my i have little hands but this is a, a really nice alternative to using one of the giant emperors or using one of the yukari royals Again, you have very, very, very fine lines and more broad lines as well. Even though I did show off the line variation there, it's still not a flex pen. You do get some good line variation out of it and it's kind of perfect for me. It is pricey, but worth it if you can afford it, of course. I don't know why I dotted that, dotted that R, but I did. <laughs> there you go, guys. The brand new Namiki Aya in Tokiwa Green, which is not one of the more common ones I've seen in videos. I usually see the black one with the, the wind sort of pattern on it, but I just love Rodden. I think Rodden is super rad. Crushed abalone shell, making up those sparkles and that those beautiful hills over Japan at night. A pretty pen. A great new addition to the Makiye family here on my channel. And that's the video. Thanks so much for checking it out, you guys. If you have any questions, go and leave a comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more content like this and check out my Instagram at Craig Rockanova, and I'll see you all in the next video. All right, peace.